Good morning! I've missed you all. I'm so excited to do this and get Kira joined. I want to see some of you who are with us today. I know Nicole is here. Who else? Howdy! Howdy, Jamie Ivy! <laughs> Hi, Anthony! <laughs> oh my gosh, so fun. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's um let's get Kira. Oh, we have someone from Norway. How cool. <clears throat> Happy fall. All right, this is the part I always mess up. Um Oh, it says Kira's unable to join. Huh. Okay, so how's everyone's day? Ooh, I'm tired, but in a good way. There. I am outside, despite the fact that it's 50 and gray. I'm bringing my own sunshine. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> I was like, it might rain on me. I don't care because I'm trying to encourage people to stay outside, get out in nature, no matter what the weather, because it's so good for your mind, body, soul. I will be working out inside because it's too cold to work out outside. <laughs> You're in Vancouver. Big difference. Did I put my headphones on? It's hard to hear me. Yeah, it would be better. All right, let me put them on. Okay. Okay, guys, um, are you ready for a workout? I'm going to turn the comments off so we can get to this. Let me see if this is working. Can you oh, man, someone has six inches of snow. Yeah, Max is in Minnesota. He's got lots of snow. Can I get my headphones hook up when I'm on live? Like, is it going to throw me off the live to go to seven? It shouldn't. Okay, nope. let me try. Let me try. Oh boy. Okay. Technical difficulties. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm here. Yes. Okay, I'm still here. Yay. Okay, I'm turning the okay. comments off, guys. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's turn do the this. comments off. Let's say hi to Nicole. We know Nicole is here. Yes. Yes, she is. Nicole is here. And Melissa, who's on the app with me, is in Hawaii. And she's joining awesome. us from Hawaii today. So, hi, Melissa. <laughs> I'm going to get us so warmed up that I'm going to be able to take the fleece off. Okay. Um, I just told Kira this morning, I'm saying it now. I just started my period this morning. My back hurts. Um, and I'm a little slow because... I am. So go a little bit easy on me in that sense, Kira. Please. So if you need to modify, you can modify. And then I'll take it up if we take it up. Because movement okay. is good. Movement is good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start. Start at the edge of your space, everyone. So wherever you are, your mat, wherever, um, you're going to be at the edge of your space. So come to the edge, Candace, so that you're facing into your mat. And then I'll just show you forward for a second. We're going to start just coming into a basic squat. So a body weight squat, your feet should be a little wider than hips width apart. You sit back into your hips with your chest lifted. So you're going to come into your squat and hold it. So we should be doing that now. You're in your squat. Good. So you're holding. We're just going to do a couple walkouts to warm your body up. So we walk out to warm up. You're going to place your hands on the ground, lift your hips up, and you're going to walk out to a plank position. Okay. So take that left foot to the outside of your left wrist. This is called a runner's lunge. And from here, you're going to open up. And I want you to think about opening up from your thoracic spine, which is your mid back, rather than your low back. That's super important. And then bring the hand down and bring the foot back. So you're going to step forward with the other foot. Open up. Again, hold it. Feel that beautiful stretch. Bring the hand down. Bring the foot back. Push back to a down dog. So you're giving yourself a stretch in down dog. And from here, come into a half rolling wave. So you lift to the balls of your feet, tuck and roll your body forward to an extended arm plank. So let's go over your plank. You're going to pull your shoulders down your back, squeeze your glutes, 
draw your navel in, press through your heels, and just hold. So we're warming into the core and into the shoulders. Just hang out here for a second. And then you're going to take your feet and you're going to step them into quadruped. So in quadruped, your knees are under your hips. Pull your shoulders down your back. We're going to use quadruped quite a bit today. The reason it's called quadruped, you're on all four um, feet and hands, right? Quadruped. But also, you feel your quads. Yeah? You should feel your quads. Abs are strong. And then just step back to your plank. Push back to your down dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Roll up, sit right back into your squat, and now you're going to give me five body weight squats. So you're going to drive through the heels and lift up, sit back and lift. Good. Three more like this. Three. I'm already warm. I'm not going to lie. I did jump and burn before this workout today. Jump and band burn. So I am nice and warm already. Yay. One more. And then sit into your squat again. Hands go down. Hips go up again walk out. So we're going to go through this walk out one more time. Take the left foot to the outside of the left wrist, open up, and then bring the hand down, bring the foot back, right foot forward, open up, enjoy that. Hand goes down, foot goes back, push back to a down dog, half rolling way forward. So lift up, tuck the tailbone, articulate your spine forward to plank, hold your plank. So now I want to add on, we're going to add on a scap push-up. So for all of you that may need to modify push-ups during the workout, this is one option. What you do is you think about dropping into your hands. So your shoulder blades kiss, and then you push the floor away. So your shoulder blades are going to kiss, push the floor away. This is one way to modify a push-up. Last one. And now I'm going to show you a second way to modify a push-up. Right, so what you're gonna do is come into the contraction, elbows skim the sides of your body, drop your knees to the ground, tuck your tailbone, and press up. And then lift the knees off the ground. So you focus on the Eastern trick. You slowly lower, drop the knees to the ground, and press up. Beautiful, two more. Slowly lower, squeeze your glutes, draw the navel in, knees down. So now you know two ways to modify a push-up. One more, slowly lower, knees down, press up, Plank position, push back to your down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Drop right into your squat again. I'm gonna show you facing forward. So you sit back into your hips, drive and squeeze. Sit back and lift, okay. So just to save time today, we're only going through that two times. So we have three more reps and we're gonna get right into the workout guys because you know, we're trying to stay on point today. Yes, Candice? Yeah. Time wise, yes. Okay, so here's what I need. Grab your band. Everybody grab your super stoked band. If you have your super stoked band at home, it's a medium resistance band. You're going to place the band. We're getting right into the meat of the workout here. You're going to take the band and place it right below your knees. So, whoo, my stoked band is new. It's like tight, tight, tight. I want you to grab your weight. So you're going to grab either fives, eights, tens. Um, we're going to come into a shoulder press with the band on. So you choose the weight you want to use at home. You want to be challenged. I would use, you know, challenge yourself. So it's a straight, we're doing a squat into a shoulder press. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're challenged weight wise. Always, if you get to like the 10th rep of something and you don't feel challenged, it's an indication you need heavier weight. So check your foot position. I just prepped you with it in your body weight squat. So feet a little wider than hips width. Press out on the band as you sit back into your squat. So you're holding a, a squat with the weight above your shoulder. Sit nice and deep. So your quads should be parallel to the ground. Drive through the heels. Just shoulder press straight up. Yeah, so you sit back into your hips and then press up. So try to stay at my pace. Hold one, two, press up. So if you're at home, you want to hold for two in the squat and then press up. Sit back into your hips. Press up. Five more like this, five, and press up. Now every rep you're pressing out on the band so you feel your glute needs. The side butt engage a little more. Two more like this, sit back into your hips. Drive and press, amazing. One more, sit back into your hips. Drive and press, and now bring the weight in. Carefully put it on the ground. Come back into your squat, and we're gonna move together. So here's the deal. We are going to sit deep in the squat and we're gonna tap out 
five times to the right. Then we're gonna move to the right for five steps. I'm just telling you first. Then we're gonna step out to the left five times. Then you're gonna move to the left for five steps. So that's the first time through the circuit. That's gonna be nice and easy. Sit back into your hips, hold your squat, chest lifted, core strong, and step out. Sit low, five, four, stay nice and deep. Three, weight even on both heels, two, one, and then step and move with it for five, four, stay low, three, we're gonna lose Candace, two, one, and now step to the left, step out, step out, step out. So we're not moving yet, we're just stepping out to the left for three more, two more, same thing we did on the other side, and now move to the left, sit, sit, three, two, one, now come up for one second, give your back a break, do it again, sit into your squat, and step out, five, step out four, step out three, step out two, step out one, and now move, five, sit low, four, sit low, three, get deeper, two, and one, now step the other direction, step out, step out, for three, for two, sit low, one, and now move laterally for four more, three more, two more, come up for one second, and now we're gonna step touch toward the camera. Step touch, step touch, so you're in like a quarter squat. You wanna sit and sit and sit and sit. Here come your high fives, everybody, here we go. Woo, happy Monday, high five Monday, and now we walk it back. Big step, big step, big step, good. And then when you come back right here, I want five hops in and out to a squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk forward again, big step. So right about now your glutes should say, oh my goodness, I'm awake, happy Monday. I'm awake, I'm alive, I'm feeling so good. Good, high five, one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, step it, step it. Step it, yeah, try to take a big step back and back and back, and then you have your five jumps. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, you still have the band on. You're gonna bring the band above your knees. You're at the edge of your space. You're gonna do a walkout to knees down position. So now we're in a flat back position. Just a little extra booty work here. Pull your shoulders down your back. So even if you don't have a band at home, you can still be doing all of this, right? You're gonna extend out to the side to fire hydrant. Flex your foot, and then you're gonna extend straight back. So it's one fire hydrant, one straight back. So what we're doing is feeling the glute med and then the glute max. So it's one out to the side, one straight back. And you wanna give yourself a pause every time you work the rep. So pause at the top of the glute med, pause at the top of the glute max. Out to the side fire hydrant, kick it back. Out to the side fire hydrant, kick it back. Just one more on this side. You're crushing it at home. We feel your vibes, we feel your vibes and switch it. So other leg, out to the side fire hydrant, kick it straight back. So just remember that the goal is not to kick the leg to the ceiling. And if you have the band on, you likely can't do that anyway. The goal is to lift to glute engagement. Kick it back. Good. Out to the side. Abs are strong. Kick it back. So you feel the side butt when you come out to the side. And the glute max as you extend back. You have three. I'm feeling really good. Are you feeling good, Candace? Yeah. Two. Kick it back. You have one more out to the side kick it back and then knees are down push back to your down dog position okay here's a little bit of our core work so what you're going to do from down dog is drop the knees right to that quadruped position i had you in the beginning so just adjust this first quadruped to make sure your knees are under your hips <clears throat> directly right and your back is flat and here you're going to tap out to the left to the right and then simply push back to your down dog. So it's a little flow here that works into your core. So you just drop the, the knees, you flow right forward to quadruped, try not to move the feet at all. And then you tap out left, tap out right, 
Tap out left, tap out right, push back to down dog. Awesome, we're gonna add on on this one. So flow forward to quadruped and you tap out left, out right, out left. Now, if you can, rotate your elbows in, drop them toward the ground as the quadruped tries up extension. So you let the hips sh shift back, elbows come in tight, and then forward. The knees do not touch the ground, shift back, push forward. Two more, shift back, push forward. One more, shift back, push forward, push back to down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, roll up, and we're gonna do it all again. So here's the deal. We've kept the band on. You're kind of tied into the workout at this point. If you need to make it a tiny bit easier, bring the band above your knees where mine is now, right? If you wanna go back to where we were the first time, you would bring it right below the knees. So below the knees is harder. Above the knees is a little easier. You've got to go what works for your body. You all know I say that all the time. It's your body, it's your workout. Grab your weights, let's go. So feet are a little wider than hips width apart. It's the same circuit, but of course I'm going to tweak it a little bit. So check your foot position, look down. Always look at the feet first. You're going to press out on that band as you squat, and then you drive through the heels and you press up. Yeah. So it's the same compound movement, press out on the band and up, good. So maybe you could go a little heavier the second time through, right? Maybe you're feeling freaking amazing now, alive and awake, and you wanna be even more challenged, but you have proper form, always, number one concern, form first, and then you increase your weight. Press up, looking good. You have six, abs are strong, press up, so good. You have five, and push, sit nice and deep. You have four, squeeze your cheeks as you lift. Awesome, three more, three, and push, so strong. Two more, two, press, one more. Last one, and press now. Put one weight down, hold your other weight end to end. So obviously I'm gonna add a little tricep work on because it's me. Okay, feet are hip width, rotate your elbows in, extend all the way back all the way up. So from this side, what you don't want to be doing is arching your back here. What you do want to be doing is tucking the tailbone. So I'm here, no booty pop. Four, press. Three, and press. Two, elbows are in. One, and we're going to hold it back and stay there. Let's pulse it. So I'll show the back side. So, right, so see my little pulses? They're small. Four, three, two, all the way up right here, press up for three. Press up for two. Press up for one, hold it, and bring it in and put it down. That was amazing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this little band compound. So this is your complimentary kind of band burnout to that compound strength move. So this time we're gonna do the five step outs, then we're gonna move, then we're gonna hop in and out for five, and then move. Then it's tapping out the other direction, in, out for five, move back. Make sense? Are you with yeah. me? Okay. Okay, all right, hold it and step out. Five, nice and wide. Four, three, awesome, two, one. Now hold it, in, out, five, four. Squat jump, three, yes, two, one, and move, five. Four, sit low. Three, two, one. Come up for one second. Now we do the same thing on this side. So you sit into your squat and you step out. Five, four, three, so good. Two, and one. Squat jump. Five, hop in, out four, hop in, out three, in, out two, in, out one, and move with it. Five, four, three, two, one, come up, and now we're gonna move forward. So we do that step touch. So come into your quarter squat, abs are strong, step touch. So the goal is to step a little bit on the diagonal each time. Chest is lifted, even though we're in that kind of squat position. Awesome, one high five, we go right back. Bring it back, back, back. Yes, yes, sit a little deeper, two, Hold a squat, look down at your feet, proper squat position, five squat jumps, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it above the knees. 
Awesome. And now you come to the edge of your space and you use that roll down to be kind on your low back. You walk out, drop the knees to the ground. Let's do a quick cat cow. So round your spine and then arch the back, find the place in between the two. There's your flat back, draw the navel in. Okay, fire hydrant. So you're gonna extend the left leg out to the left and then kick it back. So the band kind of needs to be above the knees here just so that it doesn't crawl up and you get proper range. Always remember when you do band work, and by the way, y'all know these bands are, you can get them on my website, but what's important is the range. And there's a super duper stoked band. And I will tell you that really the only time that band should be used is for band bridge burnout on the app because it's so tight that you're not gonna get the range that you need and want, right? For most other movements, extend out. So have no shame in your lighter band game, as I say, out to the side and kick it back. Just one more right here, out to the side, so good. Kick it back and other side. So it's just a little extra glute work, right? Shake it off, other side. Here we go, out and kick it back. Nothing like getting that booty high and tight first thing, like first day of the week, right? Press it out. And if you're someone that sits throughout the course of the day and this is your lunch break, you're gonna feel really good about going back to work and sitting. Extend back, good. Kick it out to the side and extend back. Two more, out to the side, kick it back. One more, out to the side, kick it back. Beautiful, now push back. Let's, let's try this first. Set your quadruped up before we do our down dog. So toes down, lift the knees two inches off the ground. So now you know that your feet are in the proper position for quadruped and you just push back to your down dog. So we're flowing into that next move. So let's remember the stoke method, your transitions. We notice that one move flows into the next. It's a big part of the method. So then the knees come down, hold it. One move needs to make sense of what comes before and after it. Tap out to the left, to the right. Hips are stable. To the left, to the right. Now hold it. Sit back into your hips. Rotate your elbows in. Tap them to the ground. Two more. So notice I'm not in a child's pose. I just shift the hips back a bit, right? You don't intentionally drop your butt to your calves. You rotate the elbows in and it's a little shift back. Two more, tricep extension, push. One more, tricep extension, push. Push back to down dog. One more time through that combo. So you're in your down dog. You flow forward to your quadruped. Hold it, abs are strong. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out. Hold quadruped, sit back into your hips. Tap the elbows to the ground. Back into the hips, tap the elbows to the ground. One more, push back to your down dog. Let's do it one more time. So really think through this at home, right? Every position matters. Shift forward to your quadruped, hold. Feel your abs draw in strong. Tap out to the left, side butt, to the right, to the left, to the right. Hold quadruped, rotate your elbows in. Tap them toward the ground, sit back. Don't intentionally drop your butt to your calves. Just shift back, push back to a down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, slowly roll up. And we have one more time through this circuit. So here's what you should feel by the third time through, three times through a circuit really matters. Right? You should feel like you're more engaged in the proper muscle groups and you should feel like you don't wanna do a fourth time through this circuit, right? Okay, so last time through, grab your weights. So it's the same circuit, Next, one more time through. Okay, you ready, Candace? Yeah. Okay, so feet are a little wider than hips width. Check your position. Just because it's your third time doesn't mean you shouldn't check your feet, right? Bring the weight above your shoulders. Sit, add a smile, right? Because you're doing good things for your body. Drive through your heels, press up. Good, sit back and press up. So two second hold in the squat is awesome. Hold it and press up. So you're pressing out on the band. Sit and press up. Every time you come up out of that squat, you want to think about squeezing your glutes. So I'll show you from the side. Stick the butt out, push and squeeze. Stick the butt out, press. Three more like this. Watch your knees as you squat. No adduction, meaning they should not come together at all. One more. Last one. Press it up. Put one way down. Hold the other way down to end. Okay, knees are soft. Tailbone is dropped. Bring it back. Elbows in. 
extend all the way up. Elbows are in. So you try to keep the elbows in tight to the side of your body. Your tailbone is dropped. Your core is engaged. And you feel the back of the arm, right? Your tricep makes up two thirds of your upper arm. Three, so we gotta nail them. Two more. Two, so good. One, now hold it back, stay there. Elbows are in, pulse it, pulse it. Ooh, I feel it, right? Because that quadruped tricep extension really prepared us for some more tricep work. You have three, you have two, all the way back, all the way up for three. Strong position, all the way up for two. You got one more rep, all the way up for one and bring it in, put them down. That was awesome. So we're gonna keep this, let this band um, little flow the same as the last time. So you sit into your squat. Last time through this, you gotta have room to move. So we're gonna step out. Five, sit low. Four, sit low. Three, two, one. Now hold your squat in and out. Five, four, three, two, one, hold your squat, move. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up for one second. Come back down into your squat. This leg steps out. Five to squat, four to squat. Three, two, one, five jumps. Here we go, five and out. Four, sit low. Three, two, one. Move back, five reps. Four reps, sit low, three, you've got this. Two, one, come up, come into your quarter squat. Step touch one more time, forward. Right, so notice we're moving in all directions. Maybe you could sit a little deeper this time. Good. You get one high five, you bring it back. One, boom, bring it back. Stay low, good, stay low, awesome. Yep, three, stay low, two. Hold it. Okay, to finish off, 10 in-out squat jumps. So if you wanna just squat, Candace, if you don't wanna jump, right, you can also just squat at home rather than hopping in and out. But if you wanna bring it up, you're gonna hop in out 10, in out nine, eight, seven, six, really go for it, five, four, sit deep, three, two, one, and then we're gonna jack it out because oh, feels good and you just squeeze your butt a little bit more and you just let those arms go. But you keep a little drop to the tailbone, squeeze your glutes. Seven, six, five, yes, four, so good. Three, two, one. Fantastic, you're done with those. But now you gotta bring the band above the knees. And we've got one more time through this file. So now the butt cheeks are like, woo hoo. Feeling stoked and ready. Roll down, walk out, knees are down. So we've got fire hydrant kickbacks. So FYI everyone, there's a new Stoke Shred 360 Express 6.0 that just went on the app at noon. And it's got similar circuits to these in it. So get stoked about it. Okay, you ready? Out to the side. Oh, I got my headphones in so you can't. <laughs> Gary, wrestling. Gary, she can't hear. Gary wants to know when the wrestling move is starting. <laughs> I know because I have my headphones in. Oh, go out to the side. Nobody can hear you. Go, extend out to the side. Tell them to watch Aurora Tea Garden. Gary, Gary's saying, tell everyone to watch Aurora Tea Garden. Reunited and it feels. Reunited, so Feels deadly. so deadly. Watch it, people. <laughs> Out to the side. <laughs> Candace, can you see him? <laughs> to the oh, side. Out to the side. <laughs> he's just, he's doing like silent wrestling. Out to the side. Kick it back. I think, honestly, he taped reuniting and it feels so deadly. He's watched it twice already. Out to the side. <laughs> Kick it back. And he's still scared when you come around the corner, Candace. Back. <laughs> One more out to the side and kick it straight back. And let's go other side. So last time on the side, soften your elbows. Make sure that you're not feeling any tension in your neck, right? So you want to pull your shoulders down your back, extend back. So you squeeze the side butt and then the glute max. So the glute max is the bigger part of your booty. Kick it back. Five more, out to the side, and you kick it back, so good. You have four more, four, and kick it back. Three more, just like this, three, 
Kick back, yes. Feel that booty, two. Kick it back, you have just one more. One, kick it back, and then push back to your down, or let's start the quadruped first so we make sure we're in correct position. Knees under your hips, toes down, lift the knees two inches off the ground. So lock into that, then push back to your down dog. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Okay. Knees come down, quadruped, and we'll tap it out to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Hold quadruped, sit back into your hips, tap the elbows to the ground. Two more. Sit back, tap, feel those triceps. One more, sit back, tap, and push back to a down dog. Just one more set of this. Flow to your quadruped, hold it, and let's go. Tap out to the left to the right, to the left, to the right, hold quadruped, rotate the elbows in, tap them toward the ground, two more, tap, so good, one more, tap, hold it, push back to your down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet, slowly roll up, and you can finally take that band off, which is like, now we're free, <laughs> we are free, oh, Right? Maybe just give me some, how about give me some great binds here? Just move your body. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what you're going to need for the next set. We're just throwing in some great binds for fun, right? Make you smile a little bit. So now for the next set, we're going to come into a lunge, right? So you want to have weights for a lunge and a bicep curl. Candace, how do you feel about doing that move that we did Saturday? You want to do the lunge deadlift or do you want to do a straight lunge? Whatever you want. Okay. One more. And bring it back. Okay. So grab weight. You, you're going to, for a lunge and a bicep curl. So your lunge is going to be a reverse lunge, right? Where we're right here. I'm just showing you without weight. Your back knee is going to come an inch off the ground. And you're going to lift up. Simple, basic bicep curl. And then we'll hinge. We'll combine it. We'll hinge into the single leg deadlift. How about that, Candice? We'll combine a reverse lunge into a single leg deadlift. Many of you who do the app know that I love this combo. Unilateral work is so important for your body, right? If you don't have weights, you can 100% do this without weight. And I promise you're still going to feel it, okay? So come on your left foot. Roll your shoulders back. Set your body up first. We're going to change the second time through this. But for the first rep, I want you to step back into your lunge. So the weight is on the heel of the front foot. Posture. Now you push up out of your lunge and hold. Square the hip off. Flat back, hinge into a single leg deadlift. Pull up, squeeze the butt cheek of the standing leg. Bicep curl. So here's the deal. That single leg deadlift, we're kind of passing through it quickly because Candice and I have done this many times. But if you need to have do this first set without weight, do it. Because what's so important is that you maintain a neutral spine, flat back the entire time. Push up out of your lunge, flat back, hinge, lift and squeeze. Five more like this. So we're just doing eight total for time's sake today. So notice Candace is, I'm just pointing her out right now, her beautiful posture, she hinges forward into that single leg deadlift, right? You have a flat upper back and lower back like she basically doesn't even need me anymore because her form is so gorgeous here right she's got that gorgeous the leg lifts at the same rate that the upper body comes down her hinges forward super important so you're getting your glute your hamstring your quad you're working your core in terms of balance flat back hinge lift and curl just one more here so you're going to step back hold it push up out of it flat back hinge now hold right here, bicep curl, listen up. You're gonna step back into your lunge and hold, place the weight on the ground. So we know this is where it's kind of a bummer, right? You hold it, arms are up. So I want you to just do a static lunge and hold in this lunge for 10 more seconds. I want you to think about your left foot is forward. So you're pulling your left hip back, rotating your right hip forward. In three seconds, we're gonna go for knee drives in two. Now shift forward. And you're just going to drive that right knee in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I'll face forward and show you. In and in. Good. Seven. Six. Think of your abs. Five. So it's a knee drive. Four. Think of your abs. Three. Two. One. And now you bring that knee forward. This was highly requested last night. Flamingo combo. So now that right knee is, instead of being in back behind you, you bring it in front. Sit back into your hip. Flamingo is like a 
pistol squat prep. Yeah, Candace does this gorgeous. Now, this means we're gonna do a walkout from here, just like in the warm up, right? So you sit deep. If you need to keep that right foot down as a kickstand, you can do that as well. You're holding, you feel the glute, lift your chest, core strong. Now listen up, hands go down, straighten out. Let that right leg just drag behind you as you come forward. I want you to place your right foot on top of your left. Now anchor down, so square the hips off, anchor down, squeeze your glutes, just hold. What you're doing here is pushing back to a down dog with your feet stacked. We did similar in quadruped, drop those elbows to the ground, tricep extension. Yes, forward to plank hold. Drive down with that top leg, feel your core. One more time, push back. Rotate the elbows in, drop them toward the ground, shift forward, hold. Bring that right knee to your chest. Give me four mountain climbers, four, three, two, one. Your left foot is back down, kick that right leg back, walk back, drop into your flamingo. So you sit right into flamingo, you come back up. We do one more rep. So we'll go a little faster through this rep. Sit back into flamingo, hands go down, hips go up, drag that right leg behind you, place the right leg on top of the left, hold. So you should really feel the obliques when you anchor down by pressing down with that top leg. Push back to a down dog, the feet are still stacked. Rotate the elbows in, tap toward the ground, come forward. One more time, push back to down dog, tap the elbows to the ground, forward. Right knee comes to chest. Four mountain climbers, four, three, two, one. Walk back, sit into your flamingo, and come right back up. Beautiful, second side. So that was just one side. But we see how one move transitions into the next. So basically you just did three killer moves in a row for your left side, left side being the real focus. So now we have the right foot down and we're gonna do the same thing with the right leg. So we go right back to that reverse lunge, single leg deadlift. So truthfully, if you only had a limited amount of time during the day and you wanna get one circuit done, this is a killer circuit to do to get your entire body fired up. So step back with your left, hold your lunge, hold it, push up out of your lunge, square your hips off, hinge into your single leg deadlift, pull up, squeeze the butt cheek, bicep curl. Yeah, seven more, reach back, hold your lunge, push up out of the lunge, hinge. So I need you to think about each rep, you take the time in the lunge to feel the work. This is three, hold it, push, feel the glute, flat back, hinge, lift, squeeze, and curl. You have five more to go. So notice, because I came forward on the last one, I'm doing it now too, so I stay symmetrical. Good, flat back, hinge. So again, Candace has that gorgeous straight line. From the heel to the tip of her head each time, she has four more, four. So every rep, you squeeze the cheek and then flat back hinge, gorgeous, and lift up. Excellent, two more just like that. Sit back, hold one, two, push up out of it. Amazing, flat back hinge into your single leg. So look at how I'm doing it without weight right now. You can still do this without weight, super effective. Lift up, flat back hinge. Pull up, squeeze this last final rep, step back into your lunge, connect your movement, drop the weights onto the ground, static hold, bring it up, stay there for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, so you're holding your static lunge, you're still in your lunge. Good, abs are strong. So yes, you're feeling your glute, you're feeling your quad, you're loving it, it means change is happening, you have three seconds, you have two seconds, you hinge forward, knee drive, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Light tap, light tap. So you can do whatever you want with your arms. You can do here as I am, or you can do both arms pulling down like Candace is doing. Either way, I want you to think of this as active abdominal work. You have seven, it's burning. Five, four, yes, three, two, one. Now you bring that left knee forward and you sit back into flamingo. So it's burning on that right. Hands go down, hips go up, drag the left leg behind you and plant it on top of your right heel. Anchor down, feel your abs, push back to a down dog. Rotate the elbows in, tap them to the ground. Come forward. So even the push back to plank or down dog and forward to plank is shoulder work. Push back, 
Tap the elbows to the ground for two. Come forward. Bring your left knee to your chest. Four mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Kick that left leg back. Walk back. Drop right into your flamingo. Hold it. Chest lifted. Come up. Squeeze that cheek. One more quick rep. Sit back into your hip. Hold your flamingo. Ab strong. Chest lifted. Beautiful flamingo. Hands down. Hips up. Drag that leg forward. Place your left foot on top of your right. Press down strongly and firmly. Push back. Down dog. Elbows in. Tap for two. Shift forward to plank. Hold it. Squeeze your glutes. One more. Push back. Tap for two. Forward to plank. Left knee to chest. Four mountain climbers. Four. Three. Power. Two. One. Right foot is down. Extend the left leg back. Walk on back. Drop into flamingo. Left knee is forward. And come on up. Stand up. Squeeze the glute. Beautiful. Let's just jack it out here. Okay. So loosen up those legs. We're going to jack. Now watch me. Candace is going to keep jacking. You're going to give me two squat jumps. Jack for four. Three, four. Two squat jumps. Two. So these are sumo squats. Four jacks. Two sumo squat jumps. Two. One. Jack. Four. Three. Two. One. Sumo squat. Two. One. Sit low. Four. Three. Two. One, two more, sumo squat, two. Yes, toes are turned out, one. So sumo squat, one more rep right here. Toes turned to 45 degrees, inner thigh, glute. Jack it, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. So now you're gonna grab your weight. We're gonna combine a front raise and a lateral raise. So this will be your breather. So either you want to go lighter when you're combining a front raise and a lateral raise because it's obviously harder, right? So take a deep breath. You have weights in your hands. You're going to lift in front of your body, control it, and then lift laterally. So a front raise works your anterior deltoid, a lateral raise, medial deltoid. So as I said, when you're combining the two, you're going to need to go lighter than if you were doing them as two separate exercises. So Candace, maybe go with fives. Yeah. Lift front, control it, breathe, lift laterally. So three more each way, three. So strong, try not to swing the weight. You control in between each rep. Two, amazing. Two, one more each way right here, front, control and lateral beautiful put that weight down grab your lightest band which would be your stoked band so to kind of give your shoulders a little extra action here and your tricep because we were both in that circuit put the band around your wrists so i'm going to show you from the side anchor back so pull the shoulders back and down and we're going to press out on the band so this is you can use this as a prep to warm up your shoulders or you can use it to kind of burn them out, which is the case with most band exercises. They're great for movement prep and they're great as, to work as finishers. Five, press out four, press out three, keep the lateral tension, hold it. Now I want you to pull back. Your elbows are locked by your side, make a fist. You're gonna give me a little tricep action. So it's interchanging tricep chopper. So as you bring back up, you flex the bicep as you bring the arm up, your tricep as you press. So one muscle helps another. Push it, push it, push it. Yeah, pound it out. Feel the tricep. You have four. You have three so strong. You have two. You have one. And drop it. That was your break for your legs. We go right back to it. So now we have that single leg deadlift. Now, here's the deal. We're only going to go through this one more time. And then we're going to do bilateral deadlifts because... We're running out of time. So you're gonna come on your left leg first. So it's the same circuit we did, starting it over. On your left, you're gonna step back with your right, hold it, two pulses in your lunge. So give me two, we're adding a pulse, push up out of your lunge, flat back, hinge into your single leg deadlift, pull up, squeeze, bicep curl. 
Step back into your lunge, two pulses. One, two, you push, and then you flat back hinge into your single leg deadlift. So maybe the second set at home, you could go a little bit deeper, right, into that deadlift. Like you feel like your hamstring is a little warmer. You hinge, make these good, because as I said, this is gonna be our last set of this particular movement combo for time's sake today. And then you hinge and lift, curl. Give me just three more. So last three, pulse it, push it, flat back hinge, and curl. You have two more just like this. Sit back, hold the lunge, posture, pulse, push, and don't forget, you've got to squeeze the cheek. We always mind our muscle. We don't just move through movement, right? Mind your muscle. Two more. Two, push up out of your lunge, flat back hinge, and curl it. You have just one more right here. This is your last rep. Make it your best. Two pulses. Push up out of it. Flat back hinge. Lift. Curl it. Now step back. Hold your lunge. Drop the weights on the ground. Oh, and we love this static hold. We hold it. It feels so amazing. Sink a little deeper. Pull your left hip back. Rotate your right hip forward. Isometric holds, they're freaking hard. You have three seconds. You have two seconds. Hinge, knee drive. Whoo! Bring it in. Bring it in. Ha! Pump it. Pump it. Yes. You feel that awesome burn in that left side right now. You have seven, six. Work it out. Five, four. Yes. Three, two, one. Now try to bring that right knee right forward and sit back into flamingo. I'm going to move into my position. Flamingo, stick the butt out. Right foot is off the ground, just one rep this time. Hands down, hips up, straight leg, walk out. Stack that right foot on top of the left. Anchor down, squeeze your glutes like crazy. Push back to down dog. Rotate the elbows in, tap them twice toward the ground. Just flow forward, hold it one more time, squeeze the glutes. Oh look, she added a push up. Press back. Candace added a push-up in there. Why not? Let's do it. Come forward. One push. Woo! Yes, right knee to chest. I love it. Four mountain climbers. Four. Power. Three. Power. Two. One. Shoot that right leg back. Walk back. Drop right into flamingo so that right knee comes forward. And you stand right up. Awesome. Second side. I like the push-up in there, Candace. You would always think we have to do a push-up. What? We would always do a push-up in there. What? <laughs> I hadn't planned it, but you just went for it, and I love it. Why not? We love our push-ups. Okay, so remember at home, you can take it out or you can put it in, but we're going to put a push-up in this round, too. Okay, you ready? So we're on the right. Our best yet, eight awesome reps. Step back, hold it. Come into your lunge. Two pulses. Pulse. Pulse, feel the goodness, lift, yep, flat back hinge, squeeze the cheek like crazy, curl, beautiful, take your time, step back, mind your muscle, push up out of it, flat back hinge, lift and squeeze, curl it, I love it, I love it, six to go, two pulses, push, flat back hinge, and lift, curl. Step back, pulse, pulse, and push. Nice flat back position, and lift. Three more amazing reps right here, let's go. Last three of the day, push, nice and controlled. Flat back, take your time. Pull, best way to start your week, people, right here. Two more, step back, pulse, pulse, push. Flat back, hinge, and lift. One more, step back, pulse, hold it. This is your last rep right here. Flat back, hinge into your deadlift. Lift, squeeze, now let's step back into the lunge. Let's make this count. Drop low, hold it, pull your right hip back, left hip forward, static hold, stay there. We love the burn, we love the burn. Three, two, one, come up, hinge forward, knee drive, bring it in. Bring it in, posture in, yes, pump it, pump it, pump it. 10, 
Nine, come on. Eight, seven, get it. Six, five, let's go. Four, three, two, one. You bring that left knee forward. You sit right back into Flamingo. We're getting into position. Holding, chest lifted, core strong. And we come a uh, hinge forward, drag that left leg behind you. Stack the left on top of the right, hold your plank. Now we're gonna add the push up in this one. Push back to down dog. Two elbow taps. Rotate those elbows in. Shift forward, one push up. Press back. Do it again. Two elbow taps. Shift forward, one push. Yes. Left knee to chest. Four mountain climbers right here. Let's go. Four mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Shoot that left leg back. Walk on back. Drop the right heel. Sit right into your flamingo. Come on up. Squeeze the cheek. And freaking amazing. Jack it out. Jack it. We have that same combo where it's going to be four jumping jacks. Two sumo squats, let's go. Four, three, two, one sumo squat. In, out, and in. Four, three, two, one sumo squat. Out, in, out, in. Four, three, two, one. Squat it, bring it in. Toes are turned out. Try to sit deep every time at home. You can do this. Squat, bring it in. You're an energy maker at home. Right, you are your own furnace. Build the heat. Last one, squat, squat, and then give me some butt kicks. Kick the heel to the butt, active quad stretch. Kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. You have five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights, front raise, lateral raise. This is where you get your breathing. Get your breathing back. Heart rate's up just a little bit. Front raise, lateral raise. Pull your shoulders back. Okay, here we go. Lateral. You know, it's like 55 degrees here and I am hot right now. And it's actually raining. <laughs> but I see sunshine. Three things, right? You are your own furnace, be an energy maker. Optimism is a choice and make your own sunshine. Those are my three things for today. I want you to remember at home. You are your own furnace, be an energy maker. Breathe. Optimism is a choice and make your own sunshine. Lift, good. Front raise, abs are strong. So we avoid swinging the weight. A lot of times you see people tossing and tossing, which is awesome if you wanna throw your back out. Good, lateral, <laughs> two more each way. Control from your core and lift laterally. You have one more each way right here. Front, woo, lateral, boom. And put those down, grab your stoke band. Okay, it's around your wrist. Extend out, so I'll show you from the side. Pull, roll the shoulders back, soften your knees, drop your tailbone, pull them back, anchor them back, retract them, press out. Again, so if you're going back to work after this, postural muscles, right? You spend a lot of time at your desk or even with your kids forward here, picking them up. You've got to need a posture reset. And this is such a great move for that. Out, out, five, press out, four, stay with me, three, two, hold it. Now keep the lateral tension, pull back. Feel the tricep, feel the bicep, make a fist. Let's go, punch it out and out. So you press it down, press it down, press it down. You need that full extension, as I said, part of your tricep job in life. One of its jobs is to straighten the arm. So you need to hit that fully extended position every time. Punch it, punch it. Yes, five, five, stay with it, four. You have three, you have two, you have one, and then drop that band. Okay, this third time through this circuit, I'm gonna change it for time's sake because it is already 12.51. So we're going to combine, here's what we're going to do. Just a simple bilateral deadlift. So what you're going to do is bring your feet to hip swift. Super simple. So just a basic deadlift, Candice. So you could go heavier with this, right? You can pick up 
you know, your heavier weight at home if you have it with you, because now it's bilateral, meaning both feet together. So feet are hips width apart. Soften your knees. Now pull your, roll your shoulders back. You're just as concerned about the upper back as the lower back. So keeping the weights close to your shins, you're gonna hinge forward. It's like you're shutting a car door five inches behind you. Every time you hinge, you pull up and squeeze and you curl. So it's a flat back hinge, yeah. So think, shut the car door with that booty, right? It's about five inches behind you and you wanna hit it. But you keep a neutral spine. So it's a neutral, meaning you're not, you don't have your posterior pelvic tilt or a massive anterior pelvic tilt, right? It's neutral as you hinge. Yes, lift and squeeze. So as you come to the top, many of you know my quote, you wanna squeeze your butt cheeks like you have a check for a million dollars in between them and you have to hold it there. Hinge, if you drop it, someone else is gonna pick it up and then maybe they're not gonna give it back. Hinge, squeeze, and curl. Give me four more, flat back, flat back, flat back lift and curl three more just like this hinge 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 lift and curl looking good stay with us at home two more two flat back lift and curl it you have just one more last one lift and curl it fantastic put that weight down i now want you to take your super stoked band and i want you to put it above your knees and instead of flamingo Candice, we're gonna do that new bridge that you love, the Frogger Bridge. You know this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you're gonna roll onto your back. My mat is so wet right now, everyone, because it is raking. Y'all see the rain? Whoo! Okay, keeping me, keeping me toasty. Okay, here we go. So listen up, this is a new position for many of us again. It's going to be on the new shred on the app today. So bring the feet, bottoms of your feet are together. So the bottoms of your feet, put them together. Knees are going to come out wide. I call it Frogger Bridget. Lift your hips up. Your knees are super stoked and not super duper for this, trust me. So start by just pressing out, pressing out, pressing out. Oh, it's spritzing. I hope my phone doesn't get too wet. Press out and out. So you're squeezing your glute medius, the outer portion of your glutes right here. Press out and out and out. Out seven, out six, out five. It's that side booty, everyone. Do you feel it, Candice? Three, yeah. two, hold it. Now bring your butt down and up, out in. Down and up, out and in. So you do your basic bridge, press out. Basic bridge, press out. So because we are open the knees wide as a start position, it's wonderful for your hips, right? But it also, this is why you don't want the super duper stoked band. You'll never get your knees open wide if you have the super duper on. Lift up three, down up, lift out two. Now hold at the top and just press out, 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 out. Woo! Booty, booty, booty. Eight, seven, six, press out five, press out four, press out three, out for two. Hold it out. Now bring your butt down, bring your feet on the ground. So now 10 toes point forward, heels stay down. Bridge, down up, out in. So this is our basic bridge. It's gonna feel like nothing after that frogger bridge. Down up, out in. Down up, out in. For three, up, out in. Two, up, out in. One, hold it up and press out, 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 out. Seven, six, five, out four, out three, out two, hold it out and release it. Beautiful, take that band off, stand up. And we've got to do our sumo squat jumping jacks. We've yet to use our gliders, Candace. Oh my goodness, we haven't even used our gliders. Two sumo squats, jacket, 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 jacket. Squat, squat, jacket, 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 jacket glutes, inner thighs, quads. Hard to get up after laying down, that's for sure. Out in, jacket, jacket. Two more rounds. Sit low. Wait for Candace to finish that, good. Two, three, two, one, ja down low. Ha, low, four, three, come on, two, one, 
one more. Low, low, four, three, two, one, and kick your heel to your butt. Just get some butt kicks in there, active quad stretch. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights, front raise, lateral raise. Let's get this done. Right, so last time through, front and lateral. The good news is you get to kind of choose what you want to do after this, either an ab blast, upper body blast, or booty blast. I say no to the booty blast because we've done a lot already. Yeah, I think some abs. Abs, yeah. Pull the shoulders back. Here we go. Lateral, control, front. So always remember the eccentric contraction, the way down is just as important as the way up. You've got to give it a lot of attention, right? So you control on the way down and lift. Excellent. Lateral, gorgeous, and front raise, beautiful. So we're controlling, I'm gonna show you from the side, what you don't wanna do is this or this. You control, you work that shoulder retraction that we use when we work the band. Two more each way, front, yep. And lateral, one more each way right here. Front, crushing it at home, lateral. Let's put those weights down, grab your band, put it around your wrist. We're excited because it's the last time we have to do this one, right? So again, that shoulder retraction we just used, you're gonna use it here as well. Pull your shoulders back. They're retracted and press out, out, out. You never lose the tension. It's kind of, it's exactly like we do for the lower body. You never want to lose complete tension in the band. Five, four, press out three, out for two, hold it. Now pull back, make a fist, tricep, press it, press it, press it, punch it out. Oh, you want to show that tricep right about now, right? You want to show that you're straightening that arm completely. You have six. Yes, five, push. Four, so strong. Three, two more, two, one more. Hold it. Now, right here, forearms are parallel to the ground. All I want you to do is press out, out. Woo, elbows are tight to the body. Press those forearms out. Five, out for four, out for three, out for two. Hold it out and drop the bands. Beautiful. Should we hit some abs? Let's hit some yeah. abs. Where are we? Oh, we're crushing it still. All right, everybody. Everybody at home, get excited for abs. If you need to move to a place in, the, in your house where you can do some glider action, go there now. We're not going to do a ton of it, but it is going to be a part of the circuit. Um, so we're going to come down onto the mat. You need to have a ball or a pillow. Do you have your ball, Candice? I do, but can we just make this a short set? Because it's already 10.05. Totally. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, my watch is wrong. What time is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so just minus like a little six, baby ab yep. blast. Yep, minus six. Okay, forget it. We're not going to use gliders. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> We're not going to use gliders. Just use your ball. Okay. Some of you are really happy right now. We're not using gliders. I feel it. I can feel it. Okay. All right. So guess what? Stokes gliders coming soon in about a month. Ball. Put the ball between your upper inner thigh. Engage your inner thighs, your adductors. You're going to roll on back. Okay. So bring the knees over the hips. So squeeze in the ball strong. In this position, I want you to make sure that you're, you're tucking your tailbone. So you tuck to anchor the low back down. That's so important. Now you're going to take your hands and you're going to place them on your quads. So right here, drive your quads into your hands and at the same time, push your legs away. So there's no movement happening in your body. Your head is on the ground. Your head is relaxed. You're creating your own tension throughout your abdominal wall. So you're pushing in and pressing away. This is amazing if you have any low back issues and it's a great way to really start to think about your core a little bit stronger and the connection. Now lift your head up and keep pushing. Five, four, push for three, two, and one, now, hands behind your head because we're running out of time here. Keep the upper body crunched. Now, I want you to keep your low back anchored down. Squeeze the ball. Slowly bring your heels to graze the floor and pull back. Now, the upper body is staying totally engaged the entire time. All you're doing is lowering, thinking from the hip flexor, low abdomen. So you tap and you pull back. Tap 
and pull back. Three more. Tap and pull back. Two more. Tap. Pull back. One more. Tap. Pull back. Hold it. Crunch a little higher. Extend the legs to the ceiling. Now you're going to crunch and tip your hips. So we haven't let go of that contraction. Crunch and tip. This is a little time under tension abdominal work. Crunch tip five. Crunch and tip four. Crunch and tip three. Feel it. Crunch and tip two. Now hold it together. Reach your hands to your toes. And you pulse up. Pulse up. Pulse up. Up five. Up four. Up three. Up two. Now hold at the top. Bring your hands behind your head. Notice your head has not touched the ground yet. Bend your knees. Feet flat on the ground. Basic crunch. Lift. Half release. Lift. So basic crunches, you hear me say it all the time. If you do the app, they get a bad rap. If you do them correctly, where you stay in the work and you crunch up and only release halfway out of the contraction, you don't have to do 200 of them. You do 10 and you feel them already. And you take them again for what they're worth. They're working the upper abs. Two, hold at the top. Now pulse it. Pulse it. Open your chin. Five, four, pulse it. Three, pulse it. Two, Hold it. Now reach in front of your body. Roll all the way up to the top. So this is a full roll up. Think of it as a sit up. You articulate your spine as you slowly roll back. Your shoulder blades touch. You come right back up. Yeah. Articulate your spine as you roll back. That means one vertebra at a time you roll back and the same as you come up. So you slowly roll back and roll it up. You have two more just like this. You slowly roll back and bring it up. You have one more rep. So what the ball does is it helps keep your pelvis stable throughout all of this. And if you can engage through the adductor, the inner thigh, you're going to feel your core more. Now you roll back and take the ball out. Extend that right leg long. Left knee is over your hip. Dead bug legs. Anchor the low back down. Y'all know I love this one. The ball is in your right hand. You're going to take the ball. You're going to pass it inside to outside under the left. And then switch inside to outside, crunching up every time. Okay, so think about this. Candace does this beautifully. Every time you crunch up, right, you give a little pause, and then you extend the opposite leg, and you feel that glute every time, right? Crunch up, crunch up, crunch up. You have three and three, two and two, one and one. Now bottoms of the feet together like frog or bridge, and you roll up, and you touch the ball in front of you, and you roll back. Exhale, roll up to the top and use roll back. Good. So this is that hip opening position, which is really nice after the movement we just did before this, because you probably felt that in your hip flexor. Two more. Roll up for two and you slowly bring it back. Roll up for one. Now just put that ball down. Hug your right knee into your chest, nose to your knee. And then switch left knee into your chest, nose to your knee. And switch, right knee into your chest, hold it in tight, abbreviated version of my signature stoke dab blast. Right leg goes up. This is gonna be short and sweet. Low back is down, right leg reaches, bring your body up an inch, back an inch, up an inch, back an inch. Two, now hold at the top, hands go behind your head. Keep that upper body engaged, left foot tap the back of the right. Crunch and tip your hips. Just two more reps, lower the leg, low back is down, exhale lift, crunch and tip. One more. Lower the leg. Exhale, lift. Crunch and tip. Now pull the right knee to the chest. Left leg is long. Rotate past your right knee. Pulse in and over, in and over. So you're just pulsing to the right. You feel that burn for three, two, slow bicycle. Rotate and rotate and rotate. So bicycle, pass the knee every time. You're getting ready to do the second side and you can't wait for it at home. And here we go. Right knee to chest, hold, take a breath. You're so excited about this. Left knee to the chest, hold it in. Left leg goes up, interlace behind the knee, take a breath. Bring the body up an inch, back an inch, up an inch, hold at the top. We embrace the burn, the hands go behind the head, right foot taps the back of the left. Crunch and tip, half release. You lower, you lift. This is just like ab blast on the app. Lat two more. Lift and tip. Stay with me at home. You've got this one. Lift and tip. Now bend the left knee, extend the right leg long. Rotate past that left knee. Feel the rotation. Pulse in and over, in and over. Ooh, we feel that left side. Three, two, hold it. Slow bicycle. Rotate and rotate 
and rotate. Go for it, Orm. You are almost there. Stay with it, Candice. You have three and three. Yes, two and two. One and one. And feet down. Lift your hips up, Bridge. Woo! Oh, it's like Bridge is such a beautiful release after all of that. Lift those hips up. Just give me a couple marching bridges. So when you do a marching bridge, you should feel your abs as you draw the knee in and the glute of the opposite side. Two, yes, two, love it. One more each, one and one, and then release it. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a huge hug at home. You deserve it. All the good work you put in. Thank you so much for staying with us throughout this whole thing. My watch is six minutes, which is like crazy that this is slow because these should never be off time. Roll on up, just flip Thanks over. Thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks, Kira. Okay. Bye everyone. Bye. Flex.